this and that and that and this and and this. These are all examples of what Jujutsu Kaisen did to the internet, even garnering attention of large influencers such as Moist Critical. No community is safe, no platform is safe, and no person is safe from seeing a piece of media containing Jujutsu Kaisen. With the end of the second season and one of the greatest fights in manga history occurring right now, to the atrocious memes created by the fandom, Jujutsu Kaisen has successfully conquered the internet. In this video, I will be diving into the rabbit hole of JJK and go into the crevices of the web and explain the lobotomy Kaisen. From the bad, to the funny, to the somewhat good, I'll look through it all. An example of what somewhat good is, we have the abuse of the Jujutsu Kaisen animators. While the animation of JJK Season 2 was stunning, creating a visual of some of the most anticipated fights in anime right now, the staff at MAPPA was facing unreasonable deadlines, overtime expectations, low pay, and too many projects. Studio MAPPA is one of the biggest anime studios of the past decade, but they're also one of the most controversial. Since its establishment, MAPPA has produced one hit anime after another. Their most notable work, including Jujutsu Kaisen, Chainsaw man and attack on titan some animators have vented their frustrations about the work environment on social media others have criticized mappa for using shoddy tactics to save time although studio mappa attempted to address the issues by creating a better workplace environment problems persisted and were evident in the production of jujutsu kaisen season 2 which caused a full meltdown of the staff while this is a quite dark aspect of jjk let's take a look at the flip side of all this amazing production this thing right here the nod wind disease started on a funny note due to the irony of gojo claiming he would defeat the strongest sorcerer in history and abruptly losing from an off-screen panel memes like this started popping up due to that this panel originated when gojo was asked before his fight with sukuna will he lose and originally it was translated to just a simple no by viz and other manga sites but later changed to i will win and finally translated to the infamous nah i'd win which is a direct reference to the third chapter of jujutsu kaisen when gojo was asked the same question he gave that same nonchalant response in the comments of the jujutsu folk reddit page an initial slew of memes that re-edited the frame surface. For example, one comment posted under Redditor a cleanly casual that replaced the words with nah uh gaining over 600 upvotes in 7 months. Similar re-edits were posted by Redditors in the comment section, and it just took off. Additionally, in late 2023, redraws and re-edits of the frame surface again online. And on October 6, 2023, Twitter user at Vihura shared a colored redraw with the JJK character Jogo, gaining over 950 likes in a month. The Nied win memes went from this to this. The Jujutsu Kaisen fandom took advantage of this irony and mixed it in with humanic free will and started producing the most random and out of pocket references, using every pop culture, anime, or piece of media as material, even actual real life history bro. To think that this all started from a simple meme like this with an understandable backstory to this, an unrecognizable spawn of a meme that really should have never even been created is crazy. If you think that was bad, wait until you see the internet reaction to gojo's death the gojo losing it split the jjk community in half see what see what i did there the fandom contained people questioning his loss and those who cannot cope with the fact that he lost but his death also created memes that are absolutely ludicrous bro the memes stem from the final manga panel we see of gojo where he's lying on the ground severed after a fierce battle with sukuna they took the sad panel of gojo severed in half and applied it in different ways creating stupid memes bro gojo's death was also heavily questioned this entire time he proclaimed the strongest but he fell short to Sukuna. Not even Sukuna at his best, rather he lost to a slightly limited version of Sukuna. This made the fandom run wild with theories of who actually is the strongest in JJK. Is it Mahoraga? Is it our main character? Or maybe is it Kenjaku which tricks up his sleeve? While Gojo's death perplexed everyone tuned into Jujutsu Kaisen, it also created the biggest question in the series. How can Sukuna lose anymore? While this question was being arised, another pandemic took over the web. People could not accept the fact that Gojo lost, going as far as to rewrite and create their own versions of the fight where Gojo comes back to life. People really took time to redraw panels and even animate Gojo coming back. They made realities where Gojo is just straight up one-shotting Sukuna and making Gojo to truly be the strongest in JJK, proving himself after all this time. But this was all just to cope. This was the internet's way to get what they want. Once that ran dry, they would blame Gojo's death on the creator of Jujutsu Kaisen, Gege Akatami. The fandom claims that Gehei simply did not like Gojo and that Gehei hates some characters. But as I mentioned in a previous video, Gojo had to die. Gehei was faced with an ultimatum because if Gojo somehow beat Sukuna, then the story would go in a predictable route, possibly leading to the downfall of JJK. Having the proclaimed unstoppable character lose is a climax many did not expect and it leaves us on the edge of our seats to wonder, where will this story go? 
While Gojo's death stirred the internet into chaos, other disruptions was taking place on the interwebs. On July 14, 2023, Twitter user Rukas MHA posted an edited panel of chapter 394 of the manga series My Hero Academia, replacing the original phrase said by Ochako Uraka, the cutest girl in the world, for Jujutsu Kaisen's special ability, domain expansion. This tweet alone started the domain expansion pandemic, in which people on the internet would give the domain expansion technique to characters in every universe, from Freddy Fazbear, Luffy from One Piece and Classic Dragon Ball to My Hero Academia, Blue Lock, and Spy X Family. In the following days, Ruka's MHA's tweet quickly went viral within the manga community on Twitter, inspiring other memes in which the catchphrase and reference were edited into various manga panels. For example, on July 15, 2023, Twitter user Joey Bot posted an edited panel of the Haiku manga with the domain expansion caption, which was super funny to me. Ruka's MHA's tweet unknowingly created a landslide of Jujutsu Kaisen memes that would develop so far that it came into the real world. Let's take a look at Homeless Kaisen. Earlier this year, a meme went viral in which people joked about throwing heated honey buns at homeless people because when a honey bun is heated up greatly it becomes similar to molten glass due to the sugar please do not ask me why or how this originated while homeless people face this threat on the internet they had one sole savior the domain expansion homeless guy a video went viral in november of 2023 of what looks like a homeless man performing martial arts and countless instagram and tiktok edits were made of showing off his skills and he single-handedly stopped the viral internet attack on homeless people Yes, Jujutsu Kaisen has now even affected the homeless community on the internet. No one is truly safe, bro. If a homeless man in Hita Honey Buns having a correlation to the Jujutsu Kaisen universe did not phase you, well, it gets even deeper. A manga panel from a recent chapter of Jujutsu Kaisen showcased Hakari dancing after using domain expansion. And in late August of 2023, TikTok user Sariel125 decided to animate this panel and add music behind it. After applying a popular Brazilian funk song and motion graphics, this was the result. got over 8.2 million views on TikTok to this day, which led to more creators doing the Hakari dance and it started its own trend. Some even claimed that the Hakari dance meme was even bigger than the release of Gear 5 Luffy on the One Piece anime, and that they saw it more often in their feed than any One Piece news. So the fact that a simple manga panel with a simple meme was able to over flood one of the most anticipated transformations in anime history is breathtaking and it shows how Jujutsu Kaisen has truly taken over the internet. Everything that I have mentioned in this video actually has been categorized by fans as lobotomy kaizen. To explain, a lobotomy is a surgical incision into the brain. Often for editing purposes, it was frequently used back in the day but was ineffective. These were called a botched lobotomy. Since lobotomies are not really successful, lobotomy became synonymous with the last ditch effort to cure an insane person that would usually fail. Lobotomy Kaizen basically means that Jujutsu Kaisen fanbase is insane and incurable. This term was keyed after all the memes and internet disturbance Jujutsu Kaisen created in the past year. And with that, everyone that used the internet as witness or took part in a Jujutsu Kaisen reference in the past year, bro. And it's because Jujutsu Kaisen like, successfully conquered the internet due to its creative fan base. So not only is Jujutsu Kaisen producing some of the top quality anime and best fights we've ever seen in the recent years, it's also one of the most influential pieces of media currently. So it's only right to finalize this video by saying, this was truly a lobotomy kaizen. This video has gone over things that declare Jujutsu Kaisen the king of the internet currently. And if we have not noticed it, Jujutsu Kaisen has plagued the internet over the past year, right under our noses. I just want to say that this anime is truly a breath of fresh air when it comes to an action-packed show. It is the best in its category, and it just makes sense why it has such widespread exposure right now. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching this video, hit the like button for me and and hey, maybe maybe subscribe. Check out one of these videos as well. You'll probably like them. See you later.